so it's now five past two on Tuesday the 15th of October it's a bit cloudy this afternoon it's, there's been a few drops of rain it's still 25 degrees still 25 degrees it's still very warm so we decided not to sunbathe today because the sun's not meant to come out till about six o'clock it's still very warm so we thought we'd just come out and about and video some of the scenery and tell you where all the pubs and things are so you can't see for the van but on that corner there's a pub called Daniel's Corner <laughs> <laughs> which is very popular so we're not going past there we're taking a left which where we went to McTavish's last night that's the Sun Beach apartment straight ahead that's a closer look of the big steps it goes all the way to the top no thank you I don't think we'll be able to do it across the way there is McTavish's now that was a good night last night the Abbott tribute there was three of them in the group they said they couldn't afford the fourth person <laughs> to join them but they were really good yeah sounded like them and all so yeah it's a good night in there I think we need to cross over because I think all the bits and bobs are on the other side, all the pubs and that. So we're looking for a steakhouse for David's birthday and somebody mentioned this place. Then we're heading towards the one called Gaucho somewhere up here and we think we're going in the right direction anyways. And then the blockhouse, that's another one people recommended. And Sam's, what is it called again? Fat Sam's. Fat Sam's, American Grill. So we've had a walk up there this morning, had a look at the menu there. We'll narrow it down eventually. We've got till Friday to narrow it down. O'Brien's pub, little Irish pub cafe. So we've made it to the square, which is another place where there's lots of restaurants and pubs. And it gets very lively when there's any Irish soccer on. So this is another, another place people recommended, Gauchos. So we'll have a look around here, see what's on offer. This place around here gets heaving on things like St. Patrick's Day.
So you see a lot of these pubs do tribute. Tribute. Up on Friday, eh? <laughs> oh, look, Leafy Lee. That's to, oh no, Saturday night. Marley. Yeah, Leafy Lee's on Saturday night. Might come up to see it. Wherever the pub is. The Caledonian. A lot of places closed as well. Got some little kiddies, kiddies rides. A pool table. Pound stretcher over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see the Caledonian must just open at night because that's where they have the little tribute bands on. It's got yellow on the stage. Be nice at night when all the lights are on. Mm -hmm. Another Irish pub over there. So basically, that's your lot in the square. Obviously at night time it'll be a lot more lively and doesn't look so much through the day. But tonight with all the pretty lights on and that would be quite nice. We might pop up one evening. Yeah, so we find that on these walks we've seen an awful lot of dog poo, haven't we? Yep. Dog poo and graffiti. Look at all. It spoils the place, really, I think. Oh, graffiti like that, yes. Graffiti, yeah. With the dog poo and all, do people not know how to work how to pick their dog's poo up? I don't know whether it's there or whether the dogs are from strays or from... Did you enjoy your trip there, David? Yeah. <laughs> He's just tripped yeah, over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think we're heading towards the water again. There might be another little beach down here. Ooh. So, yeah. We'll see where we get to. So, this hotel over the road is one of the Fergus hotels. They've got a nice view of the water. No beach along here, just uh, rocky outcrops, isn't there? Well, we've walked up this steep hill, <laughs> come away from the square, and the steps down to the beaches are crazy. So I don't know what that is. If anybody wants to comment down below, that'd be great. A better picture of it there. That hotel is Sentido Fido Punta del Mar. Looks very nice. As you can see, we're quite high up when you get the good views. Do you 
quite a lot of work on this holiday so far, so I think tomorrow will be a rest day. So that is a sign as to where we are. And it's got a little square and the little pictures to where we are. Look at all them steps down to the to the water. Beautiful views though. It's over the water, there's like another turret. That means it must have been something to do with the past obviously. So yeah, this is a different part of Santa Ponza. There's the beach over there, so we're not that far away from where we are. But yeah, it would be nice to be on one of these hotels on the front, but a lot of these don't have the beach. We've just got rocky outcrops, haven't they? Very pretty though, very pretty. So all these hotels are passing us like on the <laughs> quite high up, so I don't think I would like to be doing hiking up hills every day. Young and fit. Yeah, for you. Fit. Yes. <laughs> so the nice looking hotel down there. What's this one called? Iber Iberow Star. Is that how you pronounce it? Iberow Star. Yeah. So yeah, in the last three and a half days, we've covered quite a lot of Santa Ponza on foot. Yeah, prime view over the water, this hotel. Jordan del Sol, sweets and spa. Very nice. Look at the roof of the hotel has got a little cactus all over the roof, isn't it cute? <laughs> what a lovely view. And the sun's starting to come out, so we're going to have to scoot on back to the hotel to find a bed. It's another nice view between the hotels. So that was quite funny. We started off going oh, back to the hotel and we've ended up at the square again. So basically we just gone round in a big circle. At least we saw some of the coastline uh, high up. Yeah. There were some nice views. Five mile week or something. It, it was. 50, 50 yards. It was. <laughs> Take no yeah. notice of him. Huh? It's all right. Yeah. Huh? He's going to be in turn right to stay on Carahuge Des Far.